Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFeeds Help. And today I am doing a quick 1 of 10 video on how to change your startup sound. Now as far as things goes, uh, you may be wondering, isn't your last video on this? And you'll be correct on that, but this particular video really applies to people who are with, one, uh, with a UEFI motherboard and are doing fast boot. I'm currently using a Surface Pro, the first Microsoft laptop for this example. And the startup time for this, in fact, my desktop has a UEFI motherboard. I, I can't stand those things because the security on them is too tight. But um, they start up very fast. The Surface and Book, it starts up so fast I don't even think I turn it off at the time. So as far as that goes, it actually skips the sound altogether because it starts up too fast. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Now as far as this goes, it's a very simple solution and you probably won't even believe it. But what you need to do is go to the following website. This is going to be in a link in the description below. Then uh, go to the screen, download, and download the product. And let me pull it up in my thing. And it should be in your downloads. It should be a zip file. And then open up this. Say run and run. And uh, as far as this goes, this supposedly will work with older versions of Windows. So if you want to use it, then go ahead. But keep in mind that the software, you need to scan it and make sure it doesn't have anything on it. I'm not guaranteeing it's safe, but I'm guaranteeing that this, at least right here, right now, works. But what you need to do is you can press play to hear the thing. So if I go to restore, it restores it back to the old stuff. And the play just plays the current so you can hear it. But let's go to replace and replace it with whatever. Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander sound you want just make sure it's a wave file a dot wave and um, if you want to use the actual windows sounds uh, I don't know why they didn't just automatically do this but if you want to use the actual windows sounds just go to a C drive or whatever drive you're on windows and then look for media and then if you go to startup or login startup it, it sounds like a dot but what you really need to do is go to log on and this sounds like an actual startup it sounds like an updated version of the old logon file that I have but um, this is the one I want to keep it. Unfortunately I can't show you it in action in this video because of obvious reasons but just take my word it works. What you need to do then is it, it, it's gonna work sometimes. I'm gonna tell you right now this is not a always fix. It's gonna work sometimes but you need to restart but make sure that before you restart Go to your sound and make sure that your play one of startup sound is on. And the reason for that is if you don't do that, it's not going to work at all. But I would advise next go to start and go to restart and see if it works then. Again, it's not a guarantee because the thing does boot up very fast. And, it, and I got this information from Microsoft itself saying the stuff just moves so fast that it sometimes actually skips the sound altogether because it's it's ready it's it's gone it, it's 
it, it, it's not even uh, dealing with it because it's moved to the next stage and um, the sound hadn't got time to load in. So anyways, as far, and that's not a bad thing because I'm pretty sure like nearly everybody doesn't even care about that, but for people like myself, it's kind of nice to customize your own computer. But anyways, uh, this has been Craig Bent, found an honor to have you snub, and hopefully this has helped you out. If you're still having trouble with this, then feel free to let me know, but um, I, like I said, this is not a guarantee, so yeah. But if you like this, leave a like, subscribe, share, and if you want to help this channel grow, go to Patreon and um, donate there. But if you don't like this, for whatever reason, go ahead and look for dislike, but tell me why it's like fixed in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Honor Tech Views, and hope you have a great day.